Thanks for being here. Christmas is approaching. I want to share some more Christmas card ideas with you today. And today I want to show you how to use a new type of product to the Stampin' Up! catalog. It's a stamp set in a hybrid embossing folder. So I want to show you what that is, how you can use it, and a couple of card ideas for how to use this really neat product bundle. So here you can see the Marius Moments bundle. Here is the stamp set, which has the poinsettias, the holly, some other greenery, and some really pretty greetings. Then we have the hybrid embossing folder, which includes the embossing folder and a die set. So here is this beautiful embossing folder. We will use this just a second on a project, and you're going to love the way it looks. Now let's look at the dies. There are uh, quite a few dies in this set, and I'm going to pull in one of my project samples to show you a little bit about how this die set works. So here is a project I made a while back in a video, I, a technique video I did on double embossing, where you, first you dry emboss using an embossing folder, such as this one, then you heat emboss over it. And that is how I added these foil accents over the top. Now I'm going to link you to that video here, but let me explain basically how these dies work. And then we're going to get to today's project, which is a little bit simpler than this one. So I first, to make this, I dry embossed using, nope, I take that back. I, I did my die cutting first. You always want to die cut before you emboss. So I die cut this large uh, die, this large open die, using the copper foil paper in the background. Then I die cut this more detailed one using the white card stock. After I had die cut that out, I used the embossing folder to give it the texture. Then I did the heat embossing over it. And like I said, if you want some details on that, check out that video I linked to here just a second ago. So now let's take a look at a project that we can make that is just a little bit simpler than the one I just showed you. And here is my sample. Now this one doesn't have any die cutting on it, but I still think this is just a really, really pretty card. I love this embossing folder and the stamp set. So here's what we need. We need our card base. We need our embossed cardstock. Now, if you want all these measurements, click on the link in the video description below. It'll take you to my website with all the measurements. Here's the piece I have prepared for the inside of the card. Here is a small rectangle we will need to decorate for the front. And this fits perfectly there inside of that embossed rectangle. Then we need just a little bit of ribbon as well. So first, let's go ahead and do the stamping on this small piece of cardstock. And you'll get to see and appreciate these really nice stamps that come in the Marius Moments stamp set. Bring this in. That way you can look at that while I'm doing some stamping. And I'll bring in some scrap paper behind here because I will be stamping off of the edge several times. So first I'll stamp my greeting. I'm using Poppy Parade for this, and I'm using a different greeting stamp than the one I used on my sample card. This one says a joyful Christmas to you and yours. One nice thing about this stamp set is these really pretty greetings. So I wanted to highlight a few of them and not just use the same one again. Now let's add our poinsettias. So I will need to keep the poppy parade ink here and I stamped two up here at the top corner and then one down here at the bottom corner you can add more if you like you can just use one on each corner if you prefer now I'm going to bring in my pear pizzazz ink and the holly stamp one of the holly stamps I think this is the smaller one so you can add these leaves wherever you like, but I added in one here and then just a little bit down here, parts of one there and one there and then one up here at that up on top. Now, wherever you see the center of the poinsettia, you probably will want to add the little center accent piece. And this is some bumblebee ink that I'm going to use for that. Okay, and I just think that is beautiful. It just 
takes a few minutes to do that stamping and just turns out really, really nicely. Now let's go ahead and assemble our card. So we will add this pear pizzazz piece first that we embossed. Then I'm going to want to place that ribbon over next. Okay, to attach that ribbon, I just like to put a little bit of adhesive right there in the center. Lay the ribbon over where I want it. Now for this piece that we stamped, I want to use some dimensionals. You can grab these with your hands one by one, or you can use this trick I like to share on using your take your pick tool. And after you've applied them, you can even use this to pull that paper backing off. I know for any of you with arthritis or with fumbly fingers, this can be a really helpful tip. Then we'll just center that in that spot that is embossed. And we can add this piece to the inside. So just a really pretty Christmas card that you could add to your card designs for this holiday season. Thanks for watching along. You can find links to all the products I used in the video description below. You can click on that link to go to my blog with more information and the measuring, the, the measurements for this card. Hope you have a blessed day and I hope to see you again next time when I'll be back here helping you to hand make with love.